Indian people here in the United States, many of these Indian people, we live on reservations. And for example, in Navajo Nation, where my grandmother lives, we do not have street addresses. We have P.O. boxes. And this impacts our ability to vote. A basic human right that should be guaranteed to all people has been fundamentally denied. It is a critical issue because often Native voters have the ability to swing um, votes in their states. Um, so we really need to make sure that we're protecting um, Indigenous people's ability to have um, their voice heard in the elections. Well, this is a, a law change, I think, targeting voters in North Dakota, switching the responsibility of the voter from having an address to having a street address. Uh, that would get the people that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Is what's happening in this electoral arena of concern to you, Hartman? Does it relate to the questions you're fighting on? Well, uh, certainly what happens in any uh, electoral process in this country is of concern to me because these are the decisions that made the impact our people. Uh, and, you know, this comes back to the fundamental problems that, that come with trust land and, and the way that jurisdictions are put down for Native people and the 700 laws that impact Native people that don't impact other citizens. Uh, we're supposed to be sovereign tribal um, nations on equal standing to a state government, and yet we have no representation in Congress or Senate. Uh, you know, we, have, we don't have federal representation in the system of government which governs over us as, as, as tribal governments, and that's something that I would like to see changed as well beyond just voter enfranchisement. Uh, we should be, as tribal nations, we should be empowered to have representation in the government that we're under. Mm -hmm.